guys, in life, you're going to have haters. People are going to hate on you. They're going to hate the way you talk, hate the way you walk, hate the way you carry yourself. They just going to hate, right? And that's what a lot of the media does to President Trump. They just hate all day long, okay? And they spend so much time blaming the president for coronavirus, saying he don't care about science. He doesn't care about human life. That he thinks the virus is fake. And they hate on him so much that when plain as day evidence is shown to them that the president has taken this virus very seriously and has done almost everything that he can to help diminish the negative consequences of this virus, their heads explode. All of a sudden, the so-called fact checkers and the so-called party of facts and the party of science, the liberals, all of a sudden, they do these mental gymnastics and these semantics games, or they just flat out lie to try to avoid giving the president credit for anything. But before we get into that, my name is Greg Foreman, and you're watching a black conservative perspective. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective, aka a leftist worst nightmare. You can also follow me on Twitter at GForemanBCP. Let's get them. All right, guys. Take a look at the biggest hater on TV right now, Miss Joy Reid, just flat out lying to her audience about the Trump administration's involvement in the vaccines. So while Republicans are busy demanding freedom from masks, they apparently could care less about the 248,000 Americans who've lost their lives to the virus. And they accept no responsibility for any of it. In fact, believe it or not, they think they deserve credit. This vaccine truly is the light at the end of the tunnel, and it's made possible by the commitment of the Republican majority in the Senate and this administration and our efforts to focus on Operation Warp Speed. Operation Warp Speed has been a tremendous success for this administration. I do want to give a shout out to the Trump administration for making this possible. It looks to me like the Speaker, the Democratic leader of the Senate, and uh, former Vice President Biden all have the view that two and a half trillion are nothing. We will continue to have an open door and we're ready to negotiate at a moment's notice. I just want to fact check real quick to remind y'all that the companies themselves that are producing these vaccines were not involved in Operation Warp Speed and have said as much, so that's a lie. Meanwhile, it is Democrats who passed a comprehensive coronavirus package way back in May, and they passed it again in October. It's currently languishing somewhere in Mitch McConnell's office next to the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. And today, Dr. Anthony Fauci seemed really frustrated by the politicization by Republicans of the virus. I just want to lie to you guys real quick and tell you that none of these companies were involved in Operation Warp Speed. Trump had nothing to do with the vaccine because I hate Trump. This is unbelievable. Guys, even the, uh, just a quick Google search, guys. Quick Google search here. Even the liberal New York Times article, just Google, <laughs> Moderna and Operation Warp Speed. First thing you see is Moderna Operation Warp Speed. <laughs> And you see how short this, this paragraph is right here? Because even the New York Times don't want to admit it. So they had to make it as short as possible. Very much so. The United States government provided $1 billion in support for the design and testing of the Moderna vaccine. Researchers at the National Institutes of Health oversaw much of the research, including the clin clinical trials. Moderna also received an additional $1.5 billion in exchange for 100 million doses if the vaccine proved to be safe and effective. Although Pfizer has its own advanced purchase agreement for its vaccine, it did not take Operation Warp Speed money to support its design or testing. And guys, Pfizer did come to an agreement on a $1.9 billion deal with the U.S. government, a.k.a. the Trump administration, to purchase 100 million doses of the vaccine and to make sure that Americans got it first. OK, that was done through the Trump administration and Joy Reid is so full of herself. She's so far up on her pedestal and her liberal narrative, her Trump haterade, her Trump derangement syndrome that she can't even acknowledge basic facts. 
It's a basic fact. You can't get a man credit for nothing. Nothing. But you can sit up here on TV and peddle these false narratives about how President Trump is the cause of over 200,000 deaths with no evidence to support it. But you got the, the liberal state of New York with almost the most deaths more than anybody and the second highest deaths per capita. But I don't ever see her criticizing Cuomo. But, she, but you know, people want to talk about grifting. Joy Reid is a grifter. She is the biggest grifter. She sat up there with that silly smile on her face and just straight up lied to your face because of that grift, because of that money. I mean, I don't understand how this woman is getting paid over a million dollars to be on TV. This just a flat out lie. I mean, she didn't even try to like, you know, dance around it, like try to make the words kind of fit in a way was okay it's not really a lie but it's not the whole truth she didn't even try she just lied trump trump administration had nothing to do with it what i mean joy reed is a silly woman man just get a man credit i mean guys even cnn's jake tapper was like look we got to get a man some credit here take a look this is an unmitigated success and and we should acknowledge that uh, the Moderna vaccine was done with funds from Operation Warp Speed, and the Pfizer one uh, has funding when it comes to the distribution and manufacture. And I just think it's important uh, that people working so hard, Monsef Slawi and the others, uh, get credit yeah. for this. And President Trump was the one Go who on. okayed it. Yeah, n no doubt. I mean, the pace of medical innovation has been forever changed. I mean, three months, January 11th, is when they got the sequence of this virus. By March 16th, Two months later, uh, uh, shots were going into arms as part of these clinical trials. I, 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 didn't, I couldn't believe it when I saw that pace. It typically takes you know, years uh, to really get these vaccines approved. It'll be done within a year. So that, that is worth celebrating. And now we have some early data uh, to be very optimistic about. So all of the scientists, everyone behind this, all the way up to President Trump and Vice President Pence, congratulations on this great accomplishment. We, uh, we're obviously waiting for more news and for the vaccine to be available. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, thanks so much. Uh, to you see that, guys? You see how Jake Tapper struggled to get through that segment? He just he was just struggling. He was like, um, so, you know, um, we, we, unfortunately, we got to get a president some credit here. Um, even though I really don't want to, and we spent all this time criticizing him for his response to Corona, but he, he needs some credit. We got to give him credit here. It, it, this did come from Operation Warp Speed. And I know how you guys feel about the vaccine. You know how I feel about the vaccine, right? But, but, but regardless of how you feel about the vaccine, it is a good thing, right? And for the right, we have to do a better job of flipping the liberal narrative. That's what we really have to work on, right? So, so a vaccine is good in the sense that it helps fight the left's narrative that President Trump thinks COVID is fake and that President Trump doesn't believe in science. Because when the Pfizer vaccine came out, what they tried to say was that, well, you know, even though the Pfizer vaccine came out, that wasn't a part of Operation War Speed. That was funded by Germany. Trump had nothing to do with that. I mean, guys... <laughs> This is how far they'll go. This is this is why fact check is a BS, right? Let me show you this fact check from Snopes, quote unquote fact check. So Snopes decided they want to do a fact check on the Pfizer vaccine in regards to whether or not it was developed by President Trump under uh, Operation Warp Speed. Now, they label it as false, 100 percent false claim, just straight false. Right. As to not give President Trump any credit for it at all. However, we've seen fact checkers, right, use nuance when fact checking all the time to understand like the context of, OK, the main thing is, should President Trump get credit for this vaccine? Did he do anything? Did his administration do anything? So they label it as false. But then in the fine details, if you scroll towards the bottom, they say, well, even though it wasn't developed under uh, Operation Warp Speed, um, President Trump did have a the Trump administration did go into a partnership with Pfizer in order to get, you know, a certain amount of doses specifically reserved for the American people first in which we will have first access to the vaccine once it was approved and developed. And that that to me highlights my issue with fact checkers. Where they will go out of their way if Biden says something false to use 
nuance to try to say, well, it's false, but it's it's slightly false, or it's mostly false, or it's you know a little bit false. That's what they'll do. But if if it comes to President Trump and giving him any credit for anything, they just say, oh, it's false. They'll make you think that Trump had nothing to do with the Pfizer vaccine at all. If you if you just go by the fact check it on the face value, and they try to act like the right wing media is spin central, like. The right wing media is the only media that will spin stories or that will leave out important information. Again, the left wing media does the same exact thing, except they do it in a way that's sneaky. Now, with this Moderna vaccine, they couldn't do that. They had to give them credit because this was a direct result of Operation Warp Speed. And remember, guys, the narrative is that Trump doesn't believe in science and that he did not care about COVID. He didn't care about people losing their lives. That was a narrative. And see, this vaccine thing, why I love it so much, is not necessarily because I want to take the vaccine, but because it just flies in the face of the liberals who try to seem, make it seem like Trump don't care about people. Oh, Trump don't care about Corona. Trump doesn't believe in Corona. If that's the case, why did Trump sign up to get us the vaccine first? If that's the case, then why did he do Operation Warp Speed at all? Operation Warp Speed was an initiative specifically to try to develop a vaccine, specifically to try to fight back against Corona. Operation Warp Speed was specifically designed to use science. But y'all try to say this man don't believe in science. But the real people who don't believe in science are the liberals. Because they fail to acknowledge that science evolves. Science is not just one thing. Back in March, it was science that Oh, masks were not needed. That's a fact, YouTube. You know, just in case they try to say my video is harmful. I'm not saying don't wear masks. That's not what I'm saying. People should wear their masks. But in, 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 in March and April, the CDC was saying that masks were unnecessary. Back then, it was science. And you see that the science evolved. But the liberals failed to acknowledge that the science will evolve. They think that science at any given point in time is law. It's settled. And that you should just follow it blindly without questioning, okay, what's actually behind the science? That's the thing about the liberals. I think that the right, we can call them out on, on that. How does Trump not care about Corona when we've tested more than anybody? The Trump administration was signing deals to get rapid testing. I mean, Joe Biden does not have a plan that's any different than what President Trump already has done. He doesn't have a plan different. He's literally plagiarizing Trump's plan. And nobody's criticizing him. At all. Again, that's the spin from the media, man. And you see it all over the place. They don't want to get a man credit for nothing. And then you got people like Don Lemon crying about, Oh my God, why do they always attack journalists? Why don't they believe us? Why don't they trust us? Because you guys have an agenda. You have an agenda to not cover stories fairly and to not give credit where credit is due. If President Trump does something good, they need to give him credit. Just like last night. I don't know if this is Jake Tapper. It might have been him. And I might do a video on this when I find it. But they were sitting here criticizing President Trump for pulling troops out of Afghanistan. Oh, he's withdrawing too early. Oh, he's going to leave a hole in power in the Middle East that some terrorist group might rise up out of. Again, the same story they always tell us. Well, overwhelmingly, a majority of Americans don't want our troops to be in the Middle East no more. We don't want to be over here building nations, fighting endless wars. We don't want it. But yet the media criticizes him for it. Trump might be planning a coup. Oh, he's not a coup. Well, he's taking the troops out of the Middle East. That's not a good thing. Bringing the troops home, it's not a good thing. Not putting their lives in danger for useless wars, that's not a good thing. That's a bad thing. We must criticize him for that. Because it doesn't fit the establishment narrative. That's what the media does. But anyways, man, um, this is good. Congratulations to President Trump on these vaccines. Um, this does a job of flipping the narrative um, on his face and letting the liberals know that the right and conservatives, we are the party of science. We just believe that science changes over time, unlike them, and that it's not settled at any given point in time. So. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.